Hello and welcome to episode number two of My Lego City. Now, we are against a stopwatch for this one, so I've stupidly organised a live for later on this afternoon, so we've got lots to do and no time to do it in whatsoever. So what we need to do is tidy up the bomb site around the Ninjago area, which is actually where I do my live. So the Ninjago bit we moved um, the start of December. But this big thing in front needs a new home and all these bits and pieces all need to be moved. Obviously the top lap will stay where it is. Don't worry about the chocolate and the monster, that is actually my breakfast. The treehouse is what we moved yesterday and we'll just have a quick pan around the city. Uh, nothing's changed since the last video. But I'm just doing this just in case you didn't catch the first part. So as you can see, we've got all the um, all the modulars in, and then the Daily Bugle is something that we've put in as a sort of a, a community over the last lives for via YouTube and Instagram, and everybody came up with their own different ideas. Obviously, there's a little bit of mess on there because I'm in the process of just tidying it, tidying it all up, but all the water and everything, and how the minifigures and everything are designed. And yes, that is what I smashed yesterday with my ankle getting off the table so the bull was in a few pieces from the spring lantern set but that's that's already been repaired and then up at the top is where we put the harry potter stuff that's where i decided to try and be clever and jump up onto the tables i've not yet got into the wallpaper stuff but i will redo that as soon as possible then we come down into all the other modulars and what i will be starting to do is this ghostbuster firehouse so hopefully by the end of this video the roof will be on and it'll be done on the live but what I have actually managed to do is I have moved this table over ever so slightly. I know, amazing amount of work, just from right to left. Um, and that's basically smack in the middle. So I get myself two of these white IKEA tables and I should be able to have the block of cheese and the falcon on there. And then this is what we did yesterday. Just put all of the um, theme park stuff over the two, two tables and then I can relocate that with everybody. I have got a bit of an idea with maybe putting the roller coaster in a different position. But you guys will have to let me know what your thoughts on that one. And that is the Falcon looking very sorry for itself. It will get repaired at some point. So this Harry Potter castle is actually going to get stripped apart, hopefully this week. And then it's going to be done as an alternative build. So I can actually add it into the city. Um, it's a brilliant set, but I just don't have space in my layout for it. And then you've got the Coliseum, which has some little exclusive sets in from the Lego house in Billund, Denmark. There's loads of videos online, guys, with regards to... Um, all theme park content in the Lego house as well. So get yourself over. And while I'm talking about it... Don't forget to subscribe if you want to and if you want to catch up on more bits and pieces and obviously just leave a like and a comment and all that good stuff because it really does help with the algorithm. So, I need to find a place for this massive fan and it's moved. And I really did think it was going to give me more space than that but I plonked it just over there between the Coliseum and the Harry Potter castle for now. And then when that the other bits and pieces get stripped apart we can just crack on. Okay, we are good to go, I think. So, all the Ninjago stuff is together. These are all the boards that are going to be used over the tables. We started to do some bits and pieces to connect the waterfall up to the Ninjago area, which is what I did say in the previous episode. I put the Ninjago boat there and the pieces that I need to finish the gardens because I was missing some of the inner bags for that. Anyway. This is where the live is going to take place. Uh, I use the camera. The uh, webcam, it's like the GoPro for a webcam, plonk that up on that, move that over. All I need is the actual Ghostbusters set, I put all the bricks to the corner and I put the waterfall in there. So we will, we will catch up after the live. Right, we made it, we are good to go. So the laptop is set up along with the GoPro as the webcam. Got the half the roof ready, pieces perfectly placed, ready to go. Instructions. Fuel, more fuel, see how it goes. Hello and welcome to episode number two of Off By A Stud. More importantly, Happy New Year to you all. And that is that. So, stream's done. We're here so far. Looks okay. Just done one more bag, just over just over an hour. Um, it's quite quiet because of the time, the time of day. So I'm gonna go back on again later on this evening. And we will start bag number 12 
and that is all there. So what I do want to show you is actually what it looks like because you guys will see it first. So we have got this and wool. If I plug you just there and I remove Batman, will it get smashed? Will I drop it? Yes or no? There we go. Have that. It's a big old building. But in the comments below, let me know if you've got the set, or if it's on your list of things that you'd hopefully like to have. I do like the fact now, that like straight away, that we've added in that extra bit of height. And because it's by the bugle, it sort of just looks looks a lot better. Um, add some nice nice bits and pieces in with the roof as well, so I can get this back off without again dropping it and smashing it. Oh, nearly. So yeah, if you've not seen the inside of this so far, this is what this one looks like. And if I didn't, I can't remember if I mentioned it at the start of the video, if I did, I do apologise, that's where the new modular is going to go. So I think it might look quite nice having the new modular beside the assembly square. And then you've got the Ghostbuster Firehouse just looking over it. And then we will, over the next few lives and everything, add in those bits and pieces. So um, I now need to get the top of this tidy and then run over some more ideas with you. Okay, there we have it. So we've done a couple of changes and mainly just added in the vehicles just to sort of get the gist of if we want a busy traffic area or if we want to fill it up with loads of minifigures outside the diner. Now, the bit to the right hand side, we're going to put tables and chairs down, that's done. I now need you guys in the comments below to let me know what your scenes are that you've added into your very own city. Um, what minifigures you've used outside, sort of what buildings, have you added in extra benches and so on and so forth. And also what um, what modulars have you put side by side. I, I'm always really interested to find out what everybody else does into their own into their own city. Now where we've got this space now appeared, that is where the talks are of putting the older, bigger Spider-Man bridge. And then we can have a full a full battle scene off from and in front of the Daily Bugle, which I think would work really well, depending if you can pick it up at a reasonable price or not. Um, nah, where are we? So the, if you spotted it, the Ghostbuster uh, roof I've taken back off because I am getting ready for another live later on this evening. So I will obviously need to carry on with bag number 12, I think I do believe I'm on. Moving on to the Star Wars bit, um, like I said at the start, there's plenty of bits and pieces that I want to do on this and I am, if you spotted, actually trying to reinforce it so it's a lot, lot easier to move. So these 1x2s are just clipping the pieces in because for some reason that one just disintegrates. That is supposed to be the UCS Falcon, but that one just disintegrates. If anybody else has had a problem of trying to move that one and the pieces fall off, let me know. Unless it's just me and I've not built it properly. But this one is really simple to, to move. I've moved this so many times and it's absolutely fine. So again, plan of attack, two tables for that. And then we can make the nice the nice Star Wars section and scene. And then coming over to the theme park. I think I'm tempted to start tiling the theme park sooner rather than later build up then as i'm doing that i can build up the star wars sets in the background and then we can just sort of jump between those two displays and then we can carry on with the city stuff after because i have got to build this big block of cheese repair the falcon do the cantina and then i've got loads of other little sets as well um which we're going to add in and sort of do some really nice bits and pieces with but as all of the theme park stuff is basically built apart from the three and one creator now i am still wondering what to add in i don't know whether to go for the ferris wheel go for the little swings or go for the bump cars so if you've got this set which did you go for um obviously i haven't got any of those streams, I don't actually own the Ferris wheel. And I did say, I think it was at the start of this video, it's been a very long day, so I do apologise. I have got a bit of an idea of relocating the roller coaster somewhere else, but it's been a long couple of days, but we are slowly starting to get there and get everything tidied up. 
So, in the comments, I need to know from you guys what scenes you have done with regards to outside your own modulars, what modulars you have put side by side, and what you think I should add and try and add in. Now, obviously, up at the top, we're going to extend and finish off um, the diagonal A as well, so that will fit in because I have measured that, and then that will free up that space as well. So, we have got a good, good amount of space at the start of this table, and like I said, I've got the all the other cars there and there's loads in the boxes that I've got so we can get get those done and then we can just wrap around and carry on using this as a building table and then the Ninjago bit I will run over with you in the next video update with regards to having a Ninjago section and a Ninjago table and then having a separate Marvel table but again ideas in the comments keep bouncing them about we'll keep bouncing them off the lives and i just want to know i want to know all your input and what you guys think so i will end part number two of the update here because we've probably just broken the 10 minute mark now and i'm just going to end up repeating myself she's now going to jump up and do whatever she wants to do so it's perfect timing to finish but city is starting to take shape we now got good ideas with regards to that she's saying hello and we will end it there so guys as always thank you very much for watching hopefully you get some ideas and you can give me some ideas with what i can do on the different tables and the different layouts but as always thank you very much for watching you guys take care and hope to catch you in the next one Ta -da.